Welcome back to the DC channel. Yeah, tell me what you need from me now. I know what you need to be now, cause I'm done with it now. If you're new, thank you so much for subscribing and seeing this beautiful video. God will bless you, Mark. God will bless you. You know, just subscribe. Just keep on doing you, you know. But first of all, I'd like to thank everybody of being black in York has got 2.6k. Hopefully, by the time this comes out, might be 2.7. Do you get what I mean? 2.7 to get. Some of you that don't know what I'm talking about, check this up here. Hopefully it'll be here. I don't know, my editing, or it'll be in the description box below. I got quite a few DMs coming through saying, I'm stressed. I don't know what to do, who to seek, what to talk to. Oh my gosh, she's talking for all yuck people. How dare she? Shanice! Shanice, your mouth is moving like a rat. Shanice. Yeah? Your mouth is uh, moving a lot like a rat. Yappa, 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 yappa. Simple. My general experience is I went to a predominantly white primary school, predominantly black, secondary, and sixth form. So you can imagine, man's going to York. York! I travel from the bottom to the top. I had a bit of a culture shock because, again, York is more town like, and I'm from the city. And also, it's more white. Do you get what I mean? So I was a bit like, wow. I looked life, I looked up, look down, look all around, up in the air. Look up, look down, look all around, up in the air. Not underground, obviously. You have to realize, first disclaimer is that. Um, you're going to institutions that are predominantly white anyway um so you will be a minor minority does that dispute the fact that we should get more black people into these institutions in order to be able to equally represent um the demographic of our country of course not me coming to york i think my general experience was good slash decent the weirdest thing that has ever happened to me i went to church one day and auntie decided when i say auntie i mean auntie karen but it's okay um auntie decided to come to me i first time being in church and she decided to now come and touch my hair and like oh my gosh your hair's so nice without my permission so it was a bit awkward um <clears throat> it was a bit awkward second thing that i don't think is weird but i've noticed especially in second year is this fake sympathy that people invoke especially when it comes to my degree i i personally think it's so annoying when people say i can't imagine being black if i were black i just i wouldn't i wouldn't i would i wouldn't like i think that is genuinely fake sympathy especially in the context of a political discussion let's be real you've never sat down and you've never really thought if i were black don't do that just don't, just don't pretend <laughs> like direct racism and whether i've experienced direct racism myself thank god i haven't does that mean i haven't experienced implicit bias no the most implicit bias that i've i've experienced yet yeah, was when i was on my basketball team and there were several times several occasions i was unpicked for games um to the point where i was the only one out of a 15-man squad that wasn't picked times when i was on my phone and everybody else was on their phone but the indirect was very direct to me um in the sense that i was drinking water I was drinking water one time and then the audacity to tell me, oh, um, you guys, you know when they use the guys, guys, you shouldn't be drinking water during training. I just looked, I'm thinking, you know, I just laughed. You know, you know, all you can do is laugh because in my head it's like, you're not going to tell me not to drink water if other people are drinking water. I'm the last one to, I'm the first one to drink water and you're now generalizing it to everyone. Don't do that. Let's move on to ACS. So in terms of ACS, for some of you that do not know what that is, that is the African Caribbean Society. Um, it is basically a society that gets people from Africa and Caribbean all together. You do a bunch of activities, do a bunch of um, societal help in community. With us, we're in the North, so it's a bit different than it is in the Midlands, than it is in London. We have that whole society which allows freshers within August time july august time to join the freshest group chat where basically a bunch of black people are in a group chat and they're all talking with each other before they join uni but everyone that's like oh my gosh will i find my people you will um <laughs> there's a whole group chat that will be opened up soon good thing is in york specifically i don't know about other unis but we have a black people of york group chat which has like 200 plus people 
that literally send announcements here and there so you have third years you have freshers you even have graduates in there as well so again don't be stressing you know hello hi hair and food dear dear yeah first of all if you need maggie seasoning i don't know chitol okra goats chin chin um plantain everything like that it is there it's called maca international which is a shop that sells all these international foods as well leeds is only 20 minutes away 20 minutes away which is really really good so if you really need like a city city with all those african and hair food shops as well that is there it's there for my ladies as well there are loads of people in our group chat that do braid hair world sells sheer butter all those different creams like a proper hair shop which is really really good and there's different there's hair to wild uh which also does like actual braiding and stuff like that you know like if you actually want to go and do your hair are they limited of course hello hi we're not in london my personal advice would be like tell your mom to be cooking all the stew curry goat meat jerk everything from home yeah let them cook it let them season it bring it in plastic containers wrap it up with cling film now put it inside your freezer so you now have at least half a term's worth of food yeah because uni it will uni in uni in the uni in the uni yeah thank you very much if you're looking for a uni wife it's not me <laughs> it's not me baby girls don't be uni wife it's enough we've had this advice since nella rose was in university please baby girls don't be what a uni wife go find yourself a uni husband yeah because it's enough so yeah i hope you man have enjoyed like this video I'm actually only 18 people away from hearing 500. <laughs> so yeah, just make sure you guys do you. That's the general advice. Do you in this university. And don't, don't just do you. Do what the law tells you to do. If you're meant to go to this uni, you will go to this university. And you will fulfill the purpose that you need to fulfill. Just take it easy, everyone. Please don't stress yourself. Don't stress life. Just bless God. Bless yourself. Bless everybody. And God will bless you. Bless yourself. Bless everybody. Bless... Bless up.